since the release of Time Zero Professional version 4.1, a new fleet management service was created. This service is intended for professionals such as Coast Guards or search and rescue units, but it is also suitable for fishing fleets. Activating this option will allow each ship to send its position and retrieve the positions of all other vessels in the fleet. Exchanges go through a secure connection optimized to occupy as little bandwidth as possible, which allows communication via satellite. If the connection is lost, the information is stored locally and transmitted as soon as communication is restored. Each vessel must be logged into its own My Time Zero account. To activate the tracking, click on the Time Zero button. In the options, select the heading My Time Zero and then check the box Report My Position Automatically to My Time Zero. You can adjust the sending frequency between 5 seconds and 1 hour. It is also possible to include wind and depth data. To display the vessels of the fleet, from the Targets menu on the ribbon, click on the Fleet Targets option. By default, all vessels are displayed in light green. You can change the default color from the options and change the color of the icon for each boat individually. To do this, you need to right-click on the icon and select the color from the context menu. To obtain information on a particular vessel, you can click on the corresponding icon. A tooltip appears and gives you the name of the vessel, its position, its speed, etc. It can also provide you with wind and depth information. It also indicates the time elapsed since last transmission, which makes it possible to know if the information is in real time or older. Time Zero automatically records the movement of all vessels in the fleet. At the back of each vessel, its minimum drag is displayed, adjusting between one minute and two hours. If you click on the boat's icon, Time Zero displays the minimum drag, which allows you to retrace the complete history of its movements. The minimum and maximum values of the trail can be modified from the target options. The vessel movement recorded is also used from the planning workspace to replay the fleet's movement history. By moving the cursor over the time bar, it will be possible to view the complete history of a vessel or of all vessels in the fleet. You can also display the list of all vessels in your fleet. Go to the Lists menu on the ribbon and select Fleet List. The list displays all the information of the vessels in the fleet, their name and their MMSI number. You can then sort, organize, and filter the charts as you wish. You can also center the ship on the chart by clicking on the corresponding line. Note that by default, the name displayed under the boat icon is the name that Time Zero receives, but you can customize it from the nickname column on the table. The Fleet Management Service subscription also allows for the sharing of user objects such as brands, routes, zones, and other data among fleet members. To share a SAR search route, for example, you will be able to plot the SAR route to be followed in time zero. Then right click on the route and select send to in the contextual menu. From there, you will be able to select the vessel or vessels in the fleet that are navigating in the area of the incident to communicate the route to them. While sending, you may notice that an email icon is displayed above the target to which you have sent the object. The icon is yellow to indicate that the object has been successfully sent to the server 
and turns green as soon as the object has been transmitted to time zero of the receiving vessel. Another example is to share a new fishing restriction area with the entire fleet. You'll start by drawing an area, then right clicking on the surface and turning on the target alarm and boat alarm options to have the area generate an automatic alarm whenever the vessel approaches or enters the area. Then you will right click on the area again and select send to and select the whole fleet from the contextual menu. As soon as the surface has been received, each vessel will be warned if one of the vessels enters this zone. And each vessel will be warned in time zero as soon as it approaches the zone, even if it has no internet connection. If you want to modify a user object that's already been transmitted to change its color, to modify the route, or to activate or deactivate the alarm, you will have to send it again so that the change is taken into account for the whole fleet. Since the last update to 4.2, you can also send messages from one vessel to another. To do this, you will right click on the icon of the vessel you want to send the message to and select send a text message. Then enter your message in the dialog box that appears and click OK to send it. As soon as the message is received, a yellow notification is displayed in time zero of the target vessel and the message is recorded in the fleet message list. For more important messages, you can proceed in the same way but from the message dialog box, choose the important option, then type the, and send your message. As soon as the message is received, a red alarm is displayed in time zero of the target vessel, and a window is displayed over the chart indicating the center of the content of the message. The window remains on screen for 30 seconds, but can be closed as soon as it has been read. The message is also recorded in the list of messages typed as important. You also have the possibility to activate an anchor alarm on any vessel in the fleet. To do this, right click on the vessel icon and select anchor alarm. An anchor symbol appears next to the icon along with a circle that shows the boundary of the mooring area. As soon as the vessel leaves the anchorage circle, an alarm is triggered and the fleet vessel icon flashes red. To turn off the anchor alarm, right click on the target and uncheck anchor alarm. Thanks to the communication via TZ Cloud of Time Zero, by connecting with one of the My Time Zero identifiers, it will also be possible to visualize on a chart all the vessels. This will allow you to track the fleet and get information with any web browser from your desktop or a larger screen, for example. Finally, I remind you that the fleet tracking functions such as the visualization of different vessels and the reception of user data is also available on the Furuno TZT2 and TZT3 equipment since the latest updates. Do not hesitate to contact us or ask your reseller for more information or to subscribe to the fleet management service, allowing you to manage your own private group of vessels and to implement all the features we have just seen together.